Hello and welcome everybody, this is your host, Leerbach, and you are just in time for more Undertale. So, you're probably wondering, in the last few episodes I started on the actual opening screen, this time I'm starting on this one, um, last episode or last couple of episodes you may have noticed that there were some audio issues, um, my voice was being desynced to the audio, um, so yeah. I had to find an, uh, well, I had to find a way to actually sync it up, and uh, the only way I could do it was to actually go and well, do what I do what I normally do, which is the uh, the timing method, where I just move the control stick and count down like every time I say like I start like three, two, no, three, two, one. Every time it moves, like I if. I, that way I'll know it's synced up. Um, then when I go into editing, I'll look for like whenever it's moving and I'll look for me counting down. Uh, that said, I did it in the joystick configure menu and I do want to show this off real quick. Uh, so neat little thing. I don't think I've seen this before where it's like snowing and you see a little cold outside but stay warm inside of you. I am recording this on January 17th, just to let you know. And it is pretty freaking cold right now, so, yeah. <coughs> so, yeah. Um, last episode, we befriended Undyne, and it shows here in our main menu, we have Undyne on top of Papyrus's head. <laughs> uh, interesting. Anyway, so, here we are in Hotland, uh, where we came from two episodes ago after running away from Undyne. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it just seems just like yesterday that we were just, that she was trying to kill us. Oh, I guess it was two days ago she was trying to kill us and now we're her friend. So yeah, um, last episode we left, we left ourselves in front of this lab. Um, there are these two guards up here guarding the elevator. We can't go in, we can't uh, go up there. Um, and then down here, just as a reminder, we have the, uh, the fairy men or fairy woman. We will take us back to Snowden and uh, Waterfall. So, without anywhere else to go, let's go into the lab. Hmm. Looks dark. Can't see. It's too dark to see near the walls. It's too dark to see near the walls. Okay. It's you? Huh. This is a little uh, creepy. Um, looking at what looks like my computer desk. Like, seriously, like... Clearly it's not that dark that we can't make out what's over here, but seriously, this kind of looks like my computer desk, minus the balls of noodle, uh, the, the balls over here. Um, I was assuming they're noodle balls. It's kind of... I mean, this game has gone, uh... Game's gone very heavily in the Japanese influence. I'm fairly certain it's probably noodle balls. And who's that? And the lights are on. <laughs> oh my god! I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy. And. Um, uh, hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. B but, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. That's not creepy at all. <laughs> your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but, um, watching someone on the screen really makes you root for them. Yeah, that's kind of true, actually. <laughs> so, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotlands. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Uh, well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metatun. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, 
just some small practical adjustments, like um, anti uh, uh, anti human combat features. Uh, of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I had to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. <laughs> but, um, hopefully you won't run into him. Did you hear something? Knock on wood. Alright. Oh no! Oh yeah! Welcome, beauties! I'm really not trying to do Metaton's voice any <laughs> justice. I, I, I know I haven't been doing anybody's voice justice, really, but I really... I have, like, a particular voice in his head when I hear the little uh, sound bite for his voice. It's like... I, I can't seem to do it justice. Today's Quid Show! Oh, boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show! Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant! Welcome, everyone, to the glory that is Metaton. Never played before? Gorgeous! No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die! The <laughs> Metaton! Oh my gosh. Oh, this guy is just... Well, let's check. <coughs> 10 defense, or 10 attack, 999 defense. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Despite the fact he had 999 defense. Um, I guess maybe he was too lazy to ride in an infamous symbol or something, I don't know. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Uh, a new car? Oh, that actually, that actually did 10 points of damage. I did not actually think it did actually 10 points. I did not remember doing 10 points of damage. So yeah, you answer twice. You answered incorrectly two times. You die. And I completely missed what he said there. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get our unicycle. HP was maxed out. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Asgore Dreamer. One thing I want to make, like, one thing I want to note: if you don't know the answers, um, look at look at uh, Alphys. You'll see you'll see why if you pay attention next time. I, I did not notice it the first time I played through. It was actually uh, about halfway through uh, watching, I think, um, the Beard Brothers play through uh, of this, which, as of currently, they've only completed the pa the uh, neutral run and not the pacifist and genocide run. Assuming they're going to do but either of those. Um, but yeah, it's like halfway through there. I, just, I noticed it's like, wow! I did, I it's like it's like I know I noticed the uh, the trick. Um, so go ahead and cry. Screaming is against the rules. I'm not screaming. I'm just crying. And I'm crying out loud. <laughs> Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Uh, metal and magic? You may have noticed she's making the, uh, she's making the answer with her hands. <laughs> the quiz show continues. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains, train A and train B, simultaneous departure station A and B, and, uh, blah, 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 uh, D? Wonderful, I'm astounded, folks! The quiz show continues. Yeah, you really need to pay attention to Alphys if you want to get these answers right. I think there's actually a few where they're automatically wrong no matter what. Um, I think we're actually about to come up to one. Actually, let me, uh... Oops. Don't count on your victory! How many flies are in this jar? Uh... <laughs> yeah, like, again, you have to... 
If you don't want to take damage, you have to look at Alfie's, Alfie's for the answer <laughs> at, this, at this point. Let's play Memory Game! What is this monster? This is actually a trick question. You're gonna think it's Froggit? It's actually Metaton. Wearing a shirt. <laughs> it's one of the most trolly things ever, too. It's like, again, I'm reminding you, the first time I played through this, I did not know Alphys gave the answer. So I went immediate to, immediately to frog it, and I got zapped. It's like, oh, he's wearing a t-shirt. Oh, that's a troll. <laughs> that's a troll there for you. Okay, so... But can you get this one? Did you smooch a ghost? Oh. <laughs> oh, the office is looking like... Are you serious? Are you going to answer? Oh, wow, the <laughs> question actually... The timer actually goes up for this one. <laughs> no, no, no. The show continues. Um, there's a... I guess a minor spoiler that Metaton might be related to... Uh, to a Nasta Bluke. Um, not really sure. They, they never really reveal what, like, what exactly he's made of. But they assume, like, some people theorize that he's actually a ghost, but in their robot body. And he happens to be like Nasta Bluke's cousin. I think there's like some dialogue that says it somewhere in there. I'm not sure. But then there's also, I think, some dialogue that kind of, con kind of contradicts that. I think if. It is who I think it is. I don't, they, they never actually reveal who is talking during that time, so I'm not sure. I'm not saying anything for spoiler reasons. I know it's probably confusing even people who are who played the game. <laughs> um, but anyway, here's a simple one. How many letters are in the name Metaton? <laughs> yeah, it just keeps growing. 81, apparently. Quick show continues. Time to break out the big guns! In the dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie, what's the Mew Mew's favorite food? Oh, no, this one! This is the fourth chapter everyone goes to the bar and she buys ice cream for all my friends, but it's the only one who wants it! It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually very powerful thing like about friendship! And. <laughs> Alphys! 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 If you haven't been able to guess by this point, She's a nerd! She's... Th actually, the best way I can put it, Alfie's is an internet chat room. Like, she is the, the, she is the chat from Twitch, YouTube chat, whatever you want. Uh, maybe not YouTube chat, maybe that's racism on that one. Um, she is the chat for any live stream. I, I, this was brought to my attention while I was watching a Video Game Awesome's playthrough. Um... And they actually, like, he's actually, this is the chat, like, she is the chat, like, it, it is, that is her, she is the internet, minus the racism, I was about to say, I was about to say perversion, but that might not be true, considering what we find out later, but anyway, that's, uh, much, much later. Uh, you aren't helping our contestants, are you? Oh, you should have told me, I'll ask a question, you'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Alphys, Dr. Alphys have a crush on? <laughs> she has one new answer. Alphys <laughs> paused. Um, I think no matter what you, uh... I think no matter what, you get it correct. But, my first guess was, uh, Undyne. See, Alphys? I told you it was obvious. Even that human figured it out. Yeah. I don't remember, I don't know why I thought that the first time. I think it was like, as a... Maybe they're getting confused, like, uh, during Undyne's fight, she talked she talked very highly with, Al with Alfie, so I thought, so I kind of put two and two together from there. <laughs> um, but some people will answer the human, and you get different dialogue for that. I don't know what you get for Asbor, or don't know. Um, I haven't seen that yet. Yes, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together. Huh. She writes real life slash fic. Sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. <laughs> so it could be 102% too. Well, 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 with Dr. Office helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. It can't go on like this. But, but, 
This was just a pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. <laughs> oh, you don't even know half of it. <laughs> For those of you who've never played Undertale or watched a playthrough, you don't know what you're about to get into here. <laughs> Metaton could be possibly one of the greatest villainous characters in the game. I use the term villainous very... Very loosely, but still. Well, that was certainly something. <laughs> okay, I think... <laughs> oh, okay, I think that was enough. Wait, wait. Okay, Alphys, just talk right over me, why don't you? Let me give you my, my, my phone number. Uh, then my, maybe, uh, if you need help, I could... Where'd you get that phone? It's, it's ancient! It doesn't even have texting! Oh, wait, wait a second, please. The great thing about Alphys is that she's going to be real easy for me to do because I, I constantly stutter over my own words in real life, so I can really get into that. <laughs> Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting it. items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Hold on. Face tail? Underbook? I'm try I'm trying Underbook! Underbook, because it'd be like under it'll it'll work too with the with the name because it's underground. So Or it could be uh My Tail. If we want to get really old with this, <laughs> if we want to get really obsolete, we can do MySpace, but that's my tail. T A L E, obviously. <laughs> no, no, T A I L. No, no. Because not all monsters have tails. Uh, that wouldn't. Okay. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. Oh, that was awkward. Okay, so I think we're going to spend the rest of this episode actually exploring the lab. Um, we'll get that out of the way so we don't have to worry about only doing like half an episode tomorrow, uh, next episode. Um, what's this? It's a bathroom sign. Yellow feet are tapping be just behind the door. The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Hmm. That's a little suspicious. It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. She hasn't been eating dog food, has she? Fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it. It's a beat-up figurine of a female human with cat ears. It's a teacup shaped like a yellow lizard. It's full of soda. Okay, so... Let's try to see if we can get the... It's a garbage can, but it's pretty cute. Seems like notes to something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. Seems like a walkthrough to a game, or... <laughs> it's a computer, it's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Oh, I remember that. It's a video feed of your location. Then you got an upstairs area to look at. Um, let's see, can we get any more? Okay, so we can only get one. I think there might be a, a, an opportunity for us to get instant noodles again. Scientific books, they seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Yeah, usually the, usually the princesses aren't aliens. VHSs and DVDs are various cartoons. Actually, what I should say is that usually the princesses, princesses are reincarnations of the planets. Wow, that's the best I could do for a Sailor Moon reference. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's what you get for not watching the show, right? VHSs and DVDs- If there was Power Rangers, I could've come up with something better. <laughs> VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They're all labeled Human History. <laughs> all these books are labeled Human History. You look inside a book, it's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are, are flinging energy pancakes at each other. <laughs> this doesn't strike you as very accurate. Yeah, usually they're not wearing anything at all. 
Though, to be fair, I, have, I think there might have been an episode of Good Eats that came close to that actual description. At least the, no, what was it, the... There's an unaired section, they're making haggis. There's an unaired clip, I think. It's in their, t like, 10th anniversary special. Like, they're dressed up in kilts and everything. That's probably the clothes they got. They came to being, quote-unquote, scantily clad. <laughs> All these books are labeled human history. Look inside a book. It's a comic book. A hideous android is running a school with toast in its mouth. Or running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Yeah. <laughs> Usually the androids would, uh... Uh... Okay, so I ran out of things to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pink goop drips from the strange machine. Kind of curious as to what the green stuff is. It's like some sort of like... I don't know. How fast does this go? Looks like Alpha's orc table. Seems dusty. Got a bit, got a huge picture of a cat girl. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. <laughs> there are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. Huh. It's a lamp with a pink fish on the lamp on the lampshade. There no, there's no light bulb. <laughs> An incredible invention. This is probably one of my favorite ones. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. <laughs> can't read the poster up there, but we can read this one. It's a, prom it's a promo poster from, Med from Meditons TV premiere. On the flap it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So yeah, this is Dr. Alfie's Alfie's Dr. Alfie's Alfie's lap I, I do not know how to say the plural to her name. Cause her name's Alphys. So it's already a little complex to say Alphys plural, I get A lot of people would probably say, oh the plural to Alphys would be Alphys, but that's not really true. Uh, for example, uh, if you haven't checked out, check out a show called Ross's Game Dungeon. Um, a lot of people, like, he had an episode where he talked about this, actually. Um, one of the first things he talked about in this episode, um, about how to pronounce the, the first part with his name, Ross, Ross's. According to, according to, like, uh, several, according to at least, uh, two... I think like one of them was like the Oxford Oxford Journal or something like that. I can't, I can't remember. He says in in the, in the episode, adding the s's, the es sound, at the end of a, of a person's name, even if it is does have an s, and adding an apostrophe s at the end is the correct way of doing it. Um, because uh, I'm not sure why I'm not sure why, but apparently it is. So Alphys would be Alphysis. But it doesn't sound, it doesn't roll off the tongue at all easily. Um, but anyway, I think we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and end the episode off here for now. So the next episode will in, will uh, head on further into Hotland and hopefully, uh, hopefully avoid Metaton while we're at it. Until then, however, I'll see you guys later.